I'm a very lazy person. Deep inside, as hard as it is to believe, because through my channel and my videos and my lifestyle, I portray this person that is really disciplined, that is always on time, and that's what I do every day. I wake up on time, I follow a strict schedule, but deep inside, I really don't want to. I really feel that I want to stay at home, lay in bed, not do anything, not even cook, you know, but I know how painful it feels because I've been on both ends of the spectrum, if you know what I mean. I've been through this day where you just wake up, you play video games, you waste your time, and then before you know it, the sun goes down and you didn't do anything productive. So you just wasted a day out of your life. And on the other hand, I've been really productive, waking up at 5 a.m., going to the gym, and then reading books, trying to improve my knowledge, trying to communicate with more people, you know. I think that sometimes you have to push yourself outside of your comfort zone and this is where you can actually start growing you have to do things that are outside of your nature outside of what you normally do comfort sounds really nice you don't want to do anything you just want to play video games you don't want to interact with other people and i've been there i really crave it from inside but i fight against it every day because i don't want to be that guy i know what happens if i go deep down that spiral and I will really be regretful. There's this misconception about discipline where it's really something difficult. It's something that is outside of your hand that you have to actually put effort in order to do it. But trust me, the effort that you're going to put in, it's difficult only in the beginning. When you get the ball rolling, it's just going to be like a snowball that's going down the hill. It starts small and then it starts increasing in size and then you have a massive ball that nobody can stop and it just started from a little pile of snow. Once you get the momentum rolling, you're just not going to feel that you are pushing yourself to do something against your way or something that is outside of your nature. I feel that if you are working on the right things, discipline is just a part of the process and it's just going to be something that you have in your arsenal. It's a weapon and it's a really powerful weapon if you know how to hone it and how to properly use it and manage it because it's the main way that is going to lead you to where you want to go just aim to have more control over your life over your situation if you are wasting your time on certain activities that you know that they are not going to have any return on the time that you are investing in them try to reduce them a bit don't cut them off immediately if you have problems playing video games for example just tell yourself instead of playing for three hours a day, I'm gonna play two hours and a half. I know that this change might not sound so massive, but it's still improvement for you. You're still going to gain 30 extra minutes during your day. Maybe you can read a book in them. Maybe you can go outside, go for a walk. You never know. You can start replacing bad habits with good habits. And that's how discipline plays out in your life. And then you will reach a point where you feel that all of these bad activities, quote unquote, you're going to not crave them anymore. They're not going to mean anything to you. If it's video games, junk food, eating a lot of sugars, all of these things that you do in order to cope with yourself and to replace this feeling that you really want and you really desire, sometimes you know that there are things that you should be doing. I need to be learning. I need to be expanding my mind. I need to be making money. All of these are things that you crave from inside. You know that you want to do them, but the barrier of entry to them is really difficult for you because you feel that you have a high wall in front of you that you can't climb. But if you stand in front of the wall directly, of course, you can't jump over it. But if you take 10 steps back, for example, and then you run at the wall, you can start gaining speed and momentum. And once you reach this wall, you can jump right over it. And that's how discipline plays in your life. That's how you can use momentum and discipline at the same time. And that's exactly what I did in my life. So instead of spending the entire night playing video games, I told myself that I will still play video games because I don't want to cut them off immediately from my life. But before doing so, I want to read at least one page of a random book. So I opened the book that I had, which was How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. So after reading just one page, I closed the book and then hopped on Call of Duty. But while I was playing, I felt like there was something in my mind telling me that you could have read much more than one page. Why are you choosing to play video games instead of expanding your knowledge? And then something hit me. I just felt that I was growing in age. I was 24 at the time. 
and I didn't do anything in my life sustainable. Okay, I went to university, but I wasn't passionate about it. And here's where passion comes into play. I just looked at my own reflection in the mirror and I felt like I wasn't going to amount to anything if I don't do this change. This overindulgence in comfort was just destroying me. It was killing my potential and who I wanted to become. So immediately I knew that I needed to do a change and the path of comfort, as luring as it sounds, it's not going to lead anywhere. So I shaved my entire head bald and I felt that I wanted to go through a military discipline. I was waking up every single day at 5 a.m. I was going for runs. I was uh, even going under the rain and just uh, being outside in nature and reading more books, focusing on how I can improve my life in various areas. And I really think it worked because I was able to recreate and reinvent myself into a better version. And I really want more out of life. This is just the beginning. I'm not talking from a way where I've already reached what I wanted. No, there's still a long way ahead of me. But I know that discipline has become a part of who I am. It has become a part of my personality. If you would take five people that I know and ask them to define me in one word, four out of five people are going to say discipline. I don't know what the other person would say, but <laughs> hopefully something nice. But you see what I mean? Discipline has just become this part of me. It's like a tattoo that is engraved on my skin. This is who I am. I think whenever I look at myself in the mirror, I don't want to see this guy that is just sedating himself with endless pleasure once you overindulge in pleasure you already know that you are broken inside and you need healing you need you really need help you need someone to show you the way and through self-improvement through uh, consuming a lot of self-help books and reading them i think i was able to reshape my entire outlook on the world and it has made me a much stronger individual and i'm not saying this in order to talk about myself more or to flex but it's just the way it is. If you just give yourself time and you are patient with yourself, discipline will lead you to places where you never thought it could be possible. You will feel a lot of lifestyle changes, of mindset shifts that are going to rebrand you. A lot of people that knew you in the past are not going to recognize who you are now. And I'm not saying it in a way where they're going to think bad things about you. No, they're going to be inspired by your growth, by the way that you operate in your life and you're going to just be a beacon of inspiration and of hope to everyone around you and i think that this is the purpose of life this is what's going to make you appreciate yourself more and you're just going to be in a position where you have to keep your foot on the gas pedal because there are people looking up to you there are people depending on you and you don't want to let anyone down and you don't want to also let yourself down because at the end of the day you are the person that is going through this change and you know the ins and outs and the smallest details about yourself and your personality and how you were able to conquer the smallest details from biting your nails for example to being able to stop watching porn to not playing video games a lot and all of these things to regain control over your life and reclaim the person that you want. I really hope that you found this video inspirational and meaningful and you can really start applying discipline in your day-to-day -day life. So thanks for watching. If you have any thoughts, make sure you share them with me down in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.